Welcome to a new daily top ask Reddit video. Today's topic. Gamers of Reddit, what video game has the best storyline? Disco Elysium is the best book I've ever played. Narrator, the words have already left your mouth. I want to make fuck with you. Quote, that's an actual line. I'm about to buy that game now. Grim Fandango, you're a travel agent for the afterlife, where corruption and crime are rampant. Edit, gracias for the awards comrades. Viva la revolucion, my scythe, I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. I don't want to mess up my blade. 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 I loved Bioshock, but Mass Effect was also awesome. It's funny because those two games are like the exact opposite when it comes to the approach of video game storytelling, in one hand leaning into the objective-based interactive medium to say that choice is pointless and free will is a lie, as it poked and mock at the ideology of objectivism. And on the other hand a game where you play as an interstellar space captain whose choices are meant to be so important and impactful they alter the fate of entire civilizations of alien beings. I guess it's a bit like, I like action movies but romances are good too. Mass Effect is a decent dating sim with an excellent epic space opera action RPG shooter minigame. Tacked on. There have been numerous games with awesome storylines, Mass Effect, Dragon Age. But, one of the best. Knights of the Old Republic. Bioware, Bioware, and would you look at that? Bioware, edit, Jesus Christ, yell. Old Bioware, I get it. It's like this guy has never even heard of Baldur's Gate or Planescape. Torment. Red Dead Redemption 2 followed swiftly by Red Dead Depression. It's just lumbago. I never connected with a video game character the way I did with Arthur. Read Dead Redemption 2 perfectly demonstrates that games can be art as well. The facial animation tech they pioneered for L.A. Noir really paid off in RDR 2. The expressions the characters give combined with the stellar voice acting really takes it to the next level. It's an incredible game. I'm afraid. Gets me every damn time. It's fascinating to me. From a pure story perspective. RDR2 is unremarkable. However it does something truly remarkable that no other game I'm aware of has achieved yet. It's hard you participate in the mundane life as well as the exceptional life of the protagonist. You spend time teaching a kid to fish. Riding around the countryside. Hunting small game. Sometimes not so small. Greeting random folks. You walk around camp drinking while people celebrate with no particular direction except. Just. Enjoy yourself. You row a boat while singing with friends. You go on a date. You care for a friend's horse when he passes. You spend probably a grand total that amounts to hours of time chit-chatting with characters in a way that does not drive the overarching story's narrative. To put in short, you live this man's life. You connect with him on a far more regular human way than you do with superheroes that largely only do superhero things, with some mundane side quests mixed in. So his tragedy feels far less of a fantasy. Because true immersion in a game requires mundane activity. Because nobody's real life doesn't involve it. Fallout, New Vegas no matter which way you decide to go, it's a great, entertaining storyline. Ever since I played that game a couple years ago I haven't had another game scratch the same itch. Probably largely had to do with Chris Avalone's writing but the dialogue options in that game were so hilarious and great. One thing I remember specifically is that you're supposed to train recruits at one point how to fight with guns and grenades and if your ordnance and firearm skills aren't high enough you can only give them shitty inept advice. Like you tell them, don't waste bullets trying to hit one target. Shoot wildly, and shit like that. Sneering imperialist, whatever. Joshua, put a cap in general gobbledygook here one of my favorite dialogue options lol. Not to downplay Chris writing, but make sure to shout out John Gonzalez. He was the story lead for New Vegas, and people too often overlook his contribution. Outer Wilds. Such a masterpiece. Sadly it is a one-time experience, but ouch a beautiful experience. In case you never geared of it just please do yourself a favor and google nothing. Everything is a spoiler. Even Steam description has a minor spoiler which when I played did not know about and it blew my mind. This is my all-time favorite game for sure. There are a few YouTube channels with hours of content dissecting every tidbit of lore found in the game because it really is that complete and interesting. The game began as a master's thesis in interactive media and the fact that it is a passion project really shows. I'll admit it's not for everyone. I have urged a few friends to try it and only one was able to enjoy it like the rest of us that love the game. The others didn't give it much time because it didn't hook them I guess. It takes a certain mindset going in, it's not something you want to rush through to try to beat. Save it for a snow day where you're stuck inside and have a couple hours to be immersed in one of the best and most unique game experiences ever. Edit. If things like progress through knowledge, 
exploration, intricate and complete lore, and some cosmic horror pique your interests and you want to give this game a try. Do yourself a favor and avoid spoilers at all costs. This game can only be experienced to its fullest once and you'll be googling games like Outer Wilds. Frequent repost on R. Outer Wilds. For months after you finish this game. Dope game, but there's always an expectation. The friend who recommended it to me made me think I was about to play a moody game like Soma or an interactive game like Detroit. Because he'd said the game was, as you say, a master's thesis in interactive media, or that it's just a really great atmosphere with the direction of the game, the art style and music. I loaded it up and it starts like a low-effort Banjo-Kazooie. I turned it off before I'd even done the first thing, because I was turned off by the initial presentation. This was not Detroit or Soma, it wasn't adult at all. This was a game for children. Was this big epiphany I was meant to have going to be like some Sesame Street level experience? Friendship is important. Quote. Yeah I get it. But I picked it back up a month later and pushed through and it totally opens up the way it should. 10 out of 10 game. But I understand the lack of hook for new players. It's a self-driven game. If you're not curious, you won't enjoy the game.